My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Amran. Here we are. We're to meet Ulgar here as we prepare to storm Stalgard. Ulgar. Ah, oh, you're here. There's no time to waste, my friend. Of course not. There's a small fort up the hill with a few men in it, and the calm farther down the path. Speak with me once we've cleared both areas, and you're ready to go. We'll let Haganar know it's clear, and the troops can move in. Let's move! Very well. All right, let's go. Still gonna try to use magic, but I believe I've discovered why I struggle so much with it. The spells that I've learned, they're novice or apprentice spells. Hardly the type of magic that an archmage should be wielding. So that is my dilemma. Can I tell who's who? No. That's it. What he's still still moving. That's it, Amran. Only a fool lets himself get surrounded. All right, while well, no one's watching. Let me feed. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. Still here. Let's go. There's no telling how prolonged this battle might be. I'm going to need my strength.
guess they've run way up ahead. I'm curious, though, about this... this fort. Would there be anything here for us? It doesn't look like it. Alright, pretty much a vacant structure. Let's go. Yes, when I get back to Skyrim, I'm certainly going to have to meet with my, I don't know, the fellow professors there and make sure my skills are up to par. But you won't land another like it. That wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. Hmm, we've lost one of our own. This where I need to speak with you again? Simple enough, right? Unfortunately, that's the easiest part of this whole damn mess that we've gotten ourselves into. We... Are you ready? <laughs> Remember, once we begin the attack, we fight until we are victorious, or we die with honor. Yes, I'm prepared. No leaving until we finish the fight. <laughs> Very well. May we meet again after battle, or in Zongard, brother. Yes, Sovngarde. At least the rain provides some cover. What? Surprised to see me here? I am a guard and a soldier. I've got to help in this fight too, you know. Or are you scared? I'm sworn to protect this land and its people, but, but I'm a bloody guard. Nothing of this scale has ever happened to me. Then again, we've got Agnar leading us. There's no way we can lose. Right? Ladies and not. gentlemen, your attention, please. Where's Amran? I can't Thank move. Fair people of Falskar, for almost 700 years you have graciously allowed my family, the Borvaldurs, to lead you. Through thick and thin, you have worked hard, supported us, and provided unfavoring loyalty. Unfortunately, not all who live in Falstar are content. The Yunvaldir see the throne as their birthright, and something that can be owned or taken. They have started war after war, seeking power, their greed unmatched. One hundred years ago, they even agreed to give up to stop fighting, and to accept peace. However, over the last few months, Ingvar Yunvaldir, Jarl of Stalgar, has repeatedly broken that agreement. He has kidnapped my family, terrorized my people, gathered an army, and destroyed our great city. But now, the heart of the gods is within his grasp, and he has forced my hand. In honor of those who fell at Borwald, we must take up arms and return the favor, ending this once and for all! That was the battle horn. The 
can't help but see that coin purse up there, but I'll resist taking it. All right, here we go again. I wonder if I accidentally paralyze one of uh, my allies, if that'll cause them to turn on me. Kills two birds with one stone, restoring my health and destroying the enemy. Let's keep moving.
keep making progress, Amran. They haven't turned on me yet. Let's go. This is a very delicate battle. For the king! Boza! I knew it! Too bad I couldn't take them on single handed. Your point to regret disobeying the law. everyone running to. Thought we were going this way, apparently not. All right, Amran, don't look at me like that. We're just tagging along to see what happens. Oh, what? Now what? We still need to head up the hill. This must just be a detachment remaining behind. Alright, let's follow. Who is this? Is this Ulgar? Sev Sevgard. Let's follow him. Alright, this makes sense. Am I leading the, the charge, Jarl? You're too late! I'm off to get the heart now. How did you find out where it was? Oh, will you help me out with that one? When I took your wife and kid... Can I help you? I was going to interrogate them to find out. However... On my way there, I got word that you had flocked in to save them. How heroic. With you and your little clan gone out of town, it was easy enough for my thieves to sneak in and get that book. You didn't know where it was until then? Not until you were all kind enough to show me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. Well, it's a good thing I could have moved. Defeated. His only hope now is to get the heart of the gods. We must fight up to the temple containing it, to the west. Let's go. All right then. 
Go to Mountain Mist Temple. Well, he hurry up and leave. I need some fresh blood. I don't like eating in front of the Jarl. There, that should maintain me. Let's go. Well, wait. Why are we going that way when Ingvar went this way? Emerald Valley. Is this the same destination? Suppose it is. You just missed Ingvar. We tried to stop him, but he was on his horse. And got through us. He is heading to the hard chamber. We must follow him immediately. Let's go. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> I must say that this is interesting. Although completely none of our business, it does warm my non beating heart to try to help these people. What? Magic absorption that these people have, even ordinary guards. Incredible. It's also something I need to work on. That takes care of that. Thorlo really knows his way around here. No one else can even keep up with him. apply my mask.
Sheath your weapons. We walk on sacred ground. All right. I can't pull my weapons out, even if I wanted to. Uh-oh. Wow. Would you look at that? <laughs> yes, Amran. You're a master for understatement. So, what's next? Oh, we keep moving. Do try not to set off any traps, will you? Ah, as long as you don't. Time. After all, nobody's been in here Why for am I? 600 okay. years. I would hate for you to miss this momentous occasion. I'd already have the heart, but it appears to have some kind of magical shield around it. Something that book forgot to mention. But, no worries. My wizards are sure that they can remove the barrier in a timely fashion. Those keys you gave me worked wonderfully. I studied each one for quite some time. I'm truly honored to be the one in my family that finally gets to use them. What are you doing this for, Ingar? Why must you buy for such power? I do not want power. I want what is rightfully mine. Do you know what it's like to have something that is yours taken from you? Then displayed just out of reach every single day of your life. Yalmar led the group that discovered Falscar for years. They were loyal to him. Then, just because he wasn't the one that helped them, they all flocked to Olaf, forgetting the services that Yalma had provided. To this day, the realize if we attacked him, that they took from my family, we could interrupt whatever it is that those theirs. arcanists this are doing back right there. Something you're entitled to, Ingvar. The people have He's the stalling, right to you know. choose their leader. They chose the Borvalders. They've done and he only has three guards. We could easily take them. Your family does nothing but cause trouble for the people. That is not true. Or is it six? How did you it get doesn't your matter. people to follow you so loyally? You promised him power, didn't you? You would get the heart and use it to help them. You lied. To your people. That is the first thing that a king can do. You betrayed your city. How could you possibly hope to rule all of Falskar? I will not stand here being assailed by your petty claims. Admit it, Agnar. You've lost. After all this time and smooth sailing, you failed. You have let your family uh -oh, your see. down. They've brought the now, barrier down. If any of you move, I'll make this quick. We have to do something, Agnar. Indeed. We must stall him. Do stall me. Excuse me. You heard me. I am challenging you to a round of combat. No guards. None of my companions. Just you and me. Agnar. If you have a single drop of honor in your blood, you'll accept or forever be known as a coward. <laughs> Fine. I'll play your little game. But fighting an old man wouldn't be much of a challenge, now would it? No, I want to fight the Traveler. They come waltzing through the gateway, 
supposedly foretelling some grand tragedy that is to plague the land. Certainly they must be special. He will provide a challenge, so I want to fight him. You must do it. You aren't a Nord, but you must still have some a Nord. code of honor. You How must dare fight you. Ingmar in my stead. But do not fight for your honor. Fight for the honor of the people of Falskar. I take it you've never seen a Black Nord this before. This is going to be fun. <laughs> is it? Fun might be one word of looking at it. Humiliating could be another. <laughs> you have as much chance of defeating me as an ant. You cheater! Son of a bitch. What happened? What's wrong with them? the heart is all mine. What? <laughs> Ingvar's screams echoed through the great cavern as Akrandin swooped down and carried him away, tearing not only at his body, but his very soul. Agnar gently placed the heart of the gods back upon its pedestal, and the chamber was resealed. Our efforts that day had paid off. Ingvar and Valder was dead, a land free of his family's endless conquest for power. But not all was won on that day. Borvald lay in ruin, as did Stalgard. Two mighty blows that may mean darker times yet awaited the land. But that was not our concern right now, for on this day, Falskar was saved. Thanks to the valiant efforts of our king, his people, and the traveler, an outsider whose involvement in these events was destined by the gods themselves. The people may continue to live, to farm, their children can once again play in the forests. And while the land is not without issue, it has a moment to live and to enjoy. Falskar is safe, for now. You and we're my back. Friend, for everything you have done for the people of Falskar. You put yourself in harm's way for the greater good of Falskar many times. That is not something that most men would have done. I hope that this may serve as a reward for your actions. What you did is not something that many would have done, and we owe you. I promise you that the scholars of Falskar will remember you. Brother Dorlo will make sure of that your deeds are more than mere legend. Now please, have some ale. <laughs> Listen to Rurik play his songs. Relax. You have earned it. We have all earned it. This is a song that arose so that we may never forget the virtuous feet of the king, his three Nordsmen, and the traveler. Alright, Amran. Looks like our work here may be done. Ground with sword in hand. What can I do for you? Well, it might be time for us to pack our things and prepare for our journey back to Skyrim. But we'll see. For now, it's time to celebrate.